Hi. This is, um, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Does it matter who I am? Not to the Mormons. I wanted to do, uh, I, let me first make a comment. You know, you people are so damn funny. When I look at my comments, and I wish I could do some of them individually, I just can't. I just can't. I get maybe 1,500, 2,000 comments uh, a month. And I don't want this to be a full-time job. You know, the Mormon church is a full-time job, being a member. I got out of it so I didn't have to work every day. But I, I really appreciate your comments. And it makes me feel good. I have to admit, uh, being bipolar and coming from a Mormon family and, and being shunned by uh, most of my children and hated by most people because I left the Mormon church, now that I'm out in the real world, um, there's some of you that you know, say nice things. Maybe you don't like me, but you say things that make me feel good. You know, that's kind of like when your wife comes up to you and says, uh, you know, is my ass bigger than her ass? I know the answer now. I'm, I'm 65, almost 65. I know the answer, and it's, no, dear, your ass is much smaller. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. It does make my day, and it does make me want to do these things. And uh, you know I'm bipolar, and uh, sometimes I'll do two or three in a day, and then sometimes, uh, you know, my moods will sh change because of the chemicals in my head, and I won't do anything for two or three days. But anyway, um, thank you, and uh, I appreciate the titles that you keep giving me. Now, the Mormon titles, <laughs> I don't even look at, which I'm lying, but I do look at. <laughs> they don't give me a title. They just... They just predict where I'm going. Outer darkness, apostasy. <laughs> they just do. They don't even have clever names for me. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I, I, I don't know what I would have done in my latter days of my... Oh, oh latter days. <laughs> the later days of my life. It's still in there. You know, it's the Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave the Mormon Church. <laughs> it's their theme song, folks. Let me say what I want to say on this video. Um, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that 150,000 hits have been done on my videos in just about a year, a little over a year, a year and a month or two. I'm shocked. My, I told you on many other videos, and I've got almost 600 in there now, so you're not going to look at every one. If you do, you need to get a life. <laughs> I started with therapy. I just wanted to tell my side of some of the shit things that people have done to me, and then say, see, he's weird. And I go, no, no, I'm not weird. Well, I am, but you know, I didn't want anyone to know it. <laughs> so it started as therapy, and damn, it's worked. It's worked. Let me put. Why is my head shining? Isn't there any hair up there? Oh, I got the light too. <laughs> Ooh, there. It's progressed. It's progressed that I I can find um, humor, true humor, in the silliness of the Mormon Church. For a long time, I couldn't. For a long time, I was angry, I was upset, I was hostile, but. Um, I've resigned from the Mormon Church. I've told you that a million times. Now here's what I want to say. You people who have hit this website, I think are making the Mormon Church a little bit nervous. I know when I go into Desert Industries, which is the Mormon thrift store, they photograph me when I'm in there. I know I've been followed at least once. And I know that um, my site is monitored by people who are either professional or volunteer people from the Mormon Church. Many times within 24 to 48 hours when I bring something up that is outrageous, it disappears. It just plain... The dildos over at Desert Industry, the five dildos laying there on the counter going, hey, we're really worn out. The Mormon gals donated us but we think we can work a few more hours. When I mentioned that on my video, 24 hours, gone, gone. You people are making an impression. 
Now the Mormons send out <coughs> somewhere around 50,000, some will say 55,000 missionaries a year to knock on your door and to try to convince you that they are not two-faced, that they want to come in and tell you something that Jesus said. Well, each one of those missionaries is spending time and money and the Mormon church is supporting them to try to get you to join so they can get your tithing, your 10% of your income for the rest of your living days. Now, they dress them in suits, they dress them in ties, they uh, put them in nice little cars sometimes. Most of them ride bicycles or walk, but some of them have cars. They're not old jalopies. They're brand new cars. And the Mormon Church has a, uh, and I'm a Mormon, about public relations campaign. They have a Temple Square, which runs into the millions of dollars to run as a tourist attraction. They have all the temples, and they have all of the buildings, the stake uh, buildings, and all the ward buildings that, you know, are huge, um, um, <laughs> I hate it when I can't think. Phallic. I was going to say penis symbols and Freud, but finally the word came. Phallic symbols. All of their buildings have the big old penis on them, and uh, even the one that has little windows in it now that's plastic. Be that as it may, the Mormon Church has spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to a try to attract you to their message and their word. Now, I had a little gal, Carly, I think her name was, if it doesn't escape me, say, you're living in a shack. <laughs> she sees my unfinished office here. And it's a man cave, Carly. <laughs> so anyway, um, the Mormons have spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to try to talk to 150,000 people. You know how much I've spent? Zero. I don't have any props. I don't have any cameramen. I don't have the Tabernacle Choir costing me a fortune to sing and then singing in the background. I don't have fancy pictures and I don't have offices and I don't wear a tie and stand up in front of the lying, lying uh, podium and tell you bullshit. I'm surprised how many smart people there are still in the world. The Mormon church has made me think that most people are as dumb as a rock. It's not true. I'm sitting in a bullshit little tiny closet that I converted into an office to get away from the kids and soundproofed it so they don't have to hear my bullshit. And I love sitting up here. I can look down. Oh, there's no window. I can't look. And I'm not down. I'm not... I'm looking up. I'm in a basement apartment looking up. I want the Danites in here. How do you explain this? How do you explain that ordinary people who are just good, decent people trying to raise a family, trying to go to work, have part-time jobs and double work, dads that hardly ever see the kids because they're working their ass off, mom has to work, and they hardly see each other ever. One's in bed and the other one's asleep and, or uh, down working. And, you know, been there, folks. Done that. Kids crying. Oh, God. And you know what? I went in for um, a um, root canal a couple days ago. Being in Mormon church, Mormon church was worse than a root canal. I take a million root canals compared to being in the Mormon church. How do you explain? I have no costumes. I have no green screens. I don't have any puppets or any uh, attachments. Well, my head <laughs> continues to be attached until <laughs> Brigham Young cuts it off for me marrying outside my race to my sweet Filipino wife. How do you explain? People look, I think, for the truth. You people don't have a lot of time. You people are working. I've got countries that they don't even have computers in. I don't know how they hit me. I have no idea. When I was in the Philippines, no one had a home computer. Well, I'm exaggerating. I never saw anyone have a home computer. They had internet cafes. And you went down and you paid 7 pesos, 14 cents, to be on the computer with a keyboard that, you know, if it didn't have every disease in the world, you put the last one on it. How do people in, in Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia in India, in uh, Africa, in uh, remote areas of, of the uh, Asian, every continent, Iceland. Why do people even 
why don't they just go on mormon.org 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 and see all the beautiful people and all the music and the happy little girls with ponytails and and the husbands that are so devoted why isn't the world flocking to the Mormon websites to gain information about the real Mormons. I'll tell you why. They're two-faced. They always put the best foot forward, but when they turn around, hold on to your wallet, hold on to your family, hold on to your life. I find it, and I know they're going to monitor this one, and they're going to say, shit, he's right, and, and we look like a horse's ass. Why do people look at a stupid, fat, old man sitting in a closet? Why aren't they looking at the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and the one black guy that they keep putting the camera on to make him look like they're integrated? Every time he goes at a different angle, they photograph him so he looks different. People aren't stupid, Mormon Church. I was in your organization a half a century. Everything I think, see, believe, feel, etc., I'm like data. You built me. I'm a robot. It's taken me six, seven, eight years to try to get into the real world. And look what happened, Mormon Church. I got into the real world. I got no screens, no cameramen, no, you know, I, I, I was lived in California for several years and I, I have a little bit of knowledge of photography and cameras and, and filming, uh, you know, I made a little movie when I was 16, uh, it's still playing on the pornography channels, no, 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 it's not pornography, it was just a regular movie. I know what it takes to produce the shit that they're producing, their cars with cameras on them going along the road while people are jogging. Their, their sunsets and the, the reflective uh, canvases to hit the face just right. I, I can't get my lighting right. Look. Look, I, I don't have a cameraman. I don't even have a damn doorman. Open the door, the natural light mixes with this and it looks like shit. I'm trying to say, oh, how, the, how can I fix that? How can I fix that? I don't have a sound man. If I did, Allison would quit moving that damn microphone around the back of the computer screen and you can't hear me. She's been fired. She was my only crew member. I don't know, can you fire nine-year-olds? <laughs> I'm going to glue her to the wall with Velcro. And that's the only way I can protect my office. And <laughs> when social services said, did you glue by Velcro that nine-year-old to the wall? And I said, uh, that is one of our temple rites here in, in the David New Caribou family. Oh, it's religious. Yes, it's religious. We don't want her to die. <laughs> How the hell do you explain that I sit here with a little tiny fan, a microphone, <laughs> damn baby broke two months ago, I come in my office and the microphone's laying on the damn table. Allison, yes. Did you do this? No, it was Mr. Nobody. He lives at your house. He's lived at my house for 50 years when I've had kids. So I had to take some <laughs> caulking because I didn't want to spend the money. And I glued the microphone and it's right and it's in one position. And if you put it in another position, it'll lay down and rest again. <laughs> so you don't touch the damn thing. I have a computer God, I, I know it's seven or eight years old. Seven or eight years old. And sometimes, uh, you know, it does weird stuff. I bought the camera two years ago to do this. I spent no money. No time. I received zero. Not one damn red cent for anything I've said or done. This I do because it's me. And if it helps somebody else, that's who I am. I'm an atheist. My standards are higher than the Mormon Church and Christianity. I do this because I think it's the right thing to do. It makes me feel that I'm helping fellow human beings. Some of them will join the Mormon Church and be happy as can be. Many of them will avoid the Mormon Church and say, gee, you know, I heard David and he, he told me about this. I'm sitting in an office. I don't know. Oh, you can see this. Yeah, it's in the mirror. You see this? Desert Industries! 
Desert Industries. It's a headboard for a bed, but I mounted it on the wall. So there was a mirror in here because <laughs> when you put me in here, you need a mirror. You get claustrophobia. Okay? Shirt. D.I. Fan. D.I. Ooh. Chandelier. Can I get a picture of that? I don't know. I, I haven't done this much. Let me go. Oh, let me lower it down. Chandelier. Ooh. Is that pretty, huh? D.I. D.I. I'm not a rich man. I'm certainly not a poor man. Maybe I am a poor man. <laughs> Hammerman, get up here. <laughs> Fix this damn ca Oh shit, my head's gone. <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> God, what a screwy guy. Uh, Alright. No, no. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm putting it on, <laughs> on the ground. Oh, look at He's got a little skinny stomach. D.I. <laughs> Okay, so I've seen you young people, you hold your cameras out like this. You go, hey, hey, I see why you hold them out like that, yeah. So anyway, I can't even get this sucker mounted back on my screen. The reason I look down all the time uh, is because the camera is up here. And I don't look at the camera. Anyway, you tell me. Oh. <laughs> no, we're not going there, folks. <laughs> we're not going there. Why? In a year, can I raise more interest in the Mormon church being fat, old, ugly, pre-dementia, and you send out two beautiful little female missionaries with Book of Mormons in their hand, and they get the door slammed in their face. What does this say, Mormon Church, about you and how people feel about you? The Internet is a cancer that has entered the Mormon Church and will kill it. I predicted this a year ago. I have a video that says the Internet, I think, is the kiss of death for the Mormon Church. I didn't know that I would be part of that kiss of death. I just thought I was recording to watch myself on TV, which I kind of like sometimes because oh, no one else looks at me. So anyway, how do you explain me in a man cave with no resources and the Mormon church with billions and billions of dollars and they can't get 150,000 hits in a year from strangers who write in and say, gee, could I learn about the Mormon church? Would you send the missionaries out? My hand's getting tired. <laughs> now, so I'm going to cut this off. No, wait, I'm going left hand, right hand. Oh, there, okay. So anyway, you tell me. How do I gather that? I'm no genius. I'm not a, a movie star. Um, I'm not a famous person. How do you explain to the Mormon church that people will actually look at the things that I say from my experience in the church and they won't listen to your missionaries. Thanks.